Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're here to talk about some hair care. We're going to be reviewing and sharing our thoughts on the VO5 Hot Oil Therapy Intensive Moisturizing Treatments. I've been using this for a while now on my son's hair who has 4A, very kinky, curly, very, very dry hair. So if you guys want to see our little journey and how it's going, if you want to hear more thoughts about these hot oils, then just make sure you keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, join my beauty family, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, show your support, share it, and leave a comment and let me know if you guys have tried hot oils. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us the paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the nice seat. Disclaimers, this video is not sponsored, endorsed, being paid in any type of way. This is my full honest review, which it always is because y'all know we don't do fake reviews over here. Also, real quick before we get into our hair journey and pictures, as you guys see, we are in a new setup uh, for today. We might be doing this a little more often because I'm liking the lighting over here in my bedroom. But we actually did this because we had a big snowstorm out here in New York. My husband stayed home from work today and we slept in. So I said I will do my filming a little later on in the day. So it's around 12, 1 o'clock when I usually do it in the mornings. So we're in this new setup, but I'm kind of liking it. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Now let's get into these oils. So my father actually got these for me for his brand babies because you know the hair got to be maintained since they some really mixed kids um mainly for my son because my son does have like said that for a very dry kinky curly hair his hair is literally in coils you guys will see in the pictures my daughter has looser curls so we don't use the oils on her her hair does fine without it but we do use some special shampoos and conditioners for her hair to keep her bouncy hydrated curls so we are actually on week four. I'm going to be giving the kids a bath today or tomorrow. And we're going to use this treatment for the fourth time. It is recommended to use one full bottle, which I'm going to show you guys how they look now. There's two bottles in each pack. And my pops, I think, actually got four of these. So we have a good supply of them uh, for his hair. This is how the tube looks. Now these are single, basically like single serving size. So you want to use a full one, but my son doesn't have that much hair like an adult would. So I wouldn't recommend a whole one. I use half of one and then I usually cover it with like a piece of plastic or something and then use it for the next time he takes his bath. So one treatment for him is actually two treatments. I actually personally used to use hot oils. I don't remember the brand though because I was probably like 15 or 16 when I did use oils. I used to have a very dry scalp. I still do during the winter, but I know what products work for me. Sometimes oils work with me and sometimes they don't. So I found a way to maintain that balance for my hair. Um, I don't really use too many oils unless it's in like butter products. But my son, his hair loves all that stuff. Oils, butters, serums, give it to him and he loves it. So these hot oils are actually conditioning treatments. They're pre-shampoos. So what you want to do is you wet your hair. You make sure it's all fully saturated. Then you add this in for one minute. So they say don't go longer than one minute. It's best to only use for up to a minute and then you would just wash this out your hair add your shampoo wash that out add your conditioner and so on so it's really a simple step that's something i really love in this hot oils have always worked for my hair when i did use them as a teenager and my son's hair is actually loving them now my son just turned three years old on the 21st so he's a big boy now and when his hair is wet, it's actually really long, especially because it's really kinky and coily. So when you stretch it out, it's like, it's ridiculous, guys. Just to let you know a little bit about this VO5 oil, 
It says on the back, saturate your hair with VO5 hot oil therapy moisturizing treatment to help restore shine and silky softness to dry hair. Developed with five vitamins and proteins, this unique formula deeply hydrates from the roots to ends for vibrant, beautiful hair. Also, I did forget to mention these type of oils are meant to be heated up. Not in the microwave. Please don't do that. You want to put this in a very hot cup of water. It can be boiling. Um, or you can also just run it under hot water for a couple minutes. I would say maybe 10 minutes if your heating system takes up a little longer like mine. But however you do it, you do want to heat this up. You're going to make sure it's hot. That's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to saturate and penetrate the hair and just really get where you need it to. So one thing I do also notice about this is this actually gets really lathery, which is kind of crazy for an oil. I don't remember if my oil used to do that, but yeah, but still, I really like it. Um, it washes out easy. It has a very light scent, a light fragrance, which is something I really love. And just to tell you a little bit more about ingredients, there is water, which is the first ingredient, which of course, water for hydration. We have aloe leaf juice, which is actually really good for the skin. It's good for the hair. It's good for your whole body. I could just bathe in aloe all day. We do have a little bit of fragrance for those who are sensitive to fragrance. This may not be the best for you. Then we have hydrolyzed wheat protein. We have some carotene amino acids, hydrolyzed vegetable proteins, biotin or vitamin H, vitamin E. Panthenol or vitamin B5, absorbic acid, which is vitamin C, niacinamide, which is vitamin B3. Um, and that's there's a couple other things in there which I believe are like preservatives and things to maintain the formula of the oils and make sure they penetrate. Um, humectant, stuff like that. I will have to check it out a little bit more and dive deep into the ingredient list for that. But this stuff does have some amazing ingredients. Now, when it comes to our hair journey, um, as you guys can see from the pictures, if you can tell for the three weeks, his hair does feel a lot softer. It looks a little bit more shinier, silkier. Um, it still does get dry, so we tend to only wash his hair maybe once a week. So that way his natural oils can really just stay on his head and help his hair be not as dry. So as far as right now, what I can say about these oils is that they're pretty good. They're really good. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep going with the treatments until they're all finished. I believe I have six left. There's three in here. I packed them all into one box. There's only two in each box, but I have three in here and I believe I have three in the other one and half a tube left. So for him, that would actually be like 12 treatments. So we have a long way to go, but so far it's going good. I'm going to keep using them. I like these oils. Um, you guys should definitely check them out. I'll have all the links down in the description box below, anything mentioned in this video. I like VO5 as a brand. Uh, another thing I do want to note, you can use this more than once a week, but honestly, like said, for my son's hair, I wouldn't recommend it because his hair is very, very dry. So he's washing more of the natural oils than actually adding it in. So I would probably recommend using this two or three times a week. Maybe if you had more of my type of hair when I was a teenager where I had a very dry, itchy scalp, but I also had a oily head. The oils I was using them worked great for that. So I definitely do like hair oils. Let me know your thoughts on hair oils, guys, if you haven't used them, if you do use them. I do also notice a little bit more manageability with these oils, not too much more, but as we keep using them, that might help his tangles to be not as tangled, uh, since he does have that very, very kinky hair. If you guys are interested, I will also have linked down below what he uses right now for shampoo and conditioner, in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of those, um, or any of these. I will also add in the aftercare products that we use because his hair does need a little bit more of that moisture as said, uh, and just to keep his curls looking really defined and nice. So that is pretty much it. That was our little hair journey. Um, I would have had a little man in here, but he does a lot. He's a very rough boy and he probably would have knocked every single thing over in this room. So I will pop him in real quick. 
Uh, but as for that, we've finished our talk about our hair journey. I've let you guys know a little bit more about these oils. Say hi. 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 Please again, guys, if you didn't subscribe, subscribe now. Join my beauty YouTube family. We talk all things beauty, and I mean all things beauty, here on this channel. Um, honest reviews, honest opinions, honest thoughts, and we're all good. With that being said, I will see you guys here next week on Thursday, as always. And you guys stay beautifully awesome, as always. Later, guys. Oh, 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 oh,